Hi everybody, welcome to Crafty Ains Workshop. Guess what I've got done? My Diamond Art Club painting. The world was ours, the title of it. Um, the artwork is from Mandy Manzano. And um, I'm very pleased with this. I love it. I'm actually going to give it away to my niece. because She is a big fan of Peter Pan and um, so I think she's gonna love it so we will we will see um, so this video is about getting it framed um, and getting it ready to give to her so if you guys have any questions on framing let me know um, I have looked at tons of videos on different ways that you can frame this um, a more inexpensive way and I have a couple of examples that I've done already. I'll show you here in just a moment. Um, but the way I'm going to do this one today is with a canvas. So, but let me tell you, show you the two other options that you can do. So this is the first one I did and the most easiest way to frame it, the cheapest way and uh, probably doesn't look the greatest, but when you don't have the money or anything like that, you know, you do what you have to do. So what I did is all I did is I kept the canvas on the outside. I just trimmed it as straight as I could. And then I just painted with black acrylic paint all around. And then to hang it on the wall, I used the uh, poster board type gooey stuff and, I, stuff and I can't think of what it's called right now but you can use that stuff for diamond painting as well or um, putting up posters is what it's really used for um, and I'm using it to put my painting on so that's one option that's the, probably the cheapest option you can do use whatever color you want and um, and go from there okay so that's one way the second way that I have done so far, and there's many ways. These are not the only ways. These are just the ways that I've come up with um, and I've seen other people do, is just get a frame. If you have these, the ones that are uh, the same size as the, the frame that you're using, then you're going to be set. You don't have to do a whole lot of work. Um, what I would do differently with this, I just put this in here without mounting it to anything, but I think next time if I'm able to put it in a frame, a pre-made frame that you can get at Walmart or Dollar Tree or whatever, um, I would mount it on another piece of cardboard, uh, make sure it's nice and even, and then put it in the frame. Um, this one is just like barely barely too small but I've got it in there in a way that I think you may not be able to notice but it does move around so you got to be careful so you know that's the second option and then the third option I've seen this one on um, on the internet as well or on a uh, YouTube and there's quite a few people doing it this way and this is mounting it on a canvas and I like this one the best especially when since I'm giving it to someone um, and that way they can uh, have it on display in a more it may not be professional but in a whole lot more nicer fashion so what I'm going to do is tell you what you're going to need first um, and by the way this is a 32 by 42 centimeter painting which is equivalent to 12.6 inches by 16.5 inches so um, this one had 37 colors in it and I paid $24.99 for it I don't know if I said that in the opening video when I opened it up out of the box I can't remember if I gave the right price but um, and I think I got a discount on that. Um, so, I mean, if you guys order from Diamond Art Club, there's plenty of ways to get discounts. Check that out. Um, so what we're going to do, let me go ahead and tell you what you're going to need. Um, the first thing you're going to want is a toothbrush because you're going to want to 
clean off any excess debris such as the wax that you use to pick up the diamonds with and just kind of do a good scrub down just to make sure that everything is clean. Um, I decided on this one to not seal it and the reason is, is this is um, a square diamond painting and with a round diamond painting there's a whole lot of space in between the the drills um, and so when you put the sealer on and then you wipe off the top part uh, of the diamonds you still have the sealant in between each bead um, which can hold the beads together a little bit better but on a square painting the, the square drills are so close together that I don't think you'd be able to get much of the sealer in there. So I'm going to have some faith <laughs> and hope that none of these beads fall out. And if they do, I do have extras. Um, uh, and then if uh, my niece tells me that something fell off, then I have those extra beads that we can use. But I'm hoping that it'll just stay good and flat it will all the beads will stay close together and it won't fall apart which is one of my most big concerns um, oh one thing I wanted to tell you is down here when I was in Florida for my vacation I had this exposed right in this area and I accidentally had a piece of paper nearby wasn't paying attention and that piece of paper went straight on to <laughs> the sticky part of this. Well, before I went online to look at Mrs. Coffee um, and how to fix remedy this, I already had scratched off all the paper, which probably took off some of the glue. But um, Miss Co Mrs. Coffee, um, if you look her up, she's got all kinds of great tips and tricks on how to take care of that. And one of them is to use a baby wipe um, and just rub it. It won't get rid of your glue, but it will take care of taking the paper off. So check that out. And I'll try to, to uh, give you the, the YouTube channel for that so you can look that up if you need it. Um, so that really scared me. That's why I had my little note here when I was doing the diamonds. I needed to know exactly where that was so I could make sure to um, uh, put... I actually put some Diamond Dots glue on there. I don't know if you all have heard of that. Um, but it's another adhesive or glue that's specifically for Diamond dot or to do diamonds. And so I used that and that's what helped keep the, that's what's helping keeping these diamonds down since I did rub off probably a lot of the glue when I was trying to get that paper off um, but I got that uh, diamond dots glue at Joanne Fabrics um, so after you brush it make sure it's clean um, we can start getting this frame going framing going um, so what I'm gonna do I'm doing it probably a little different than a lot of people what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep some of the canvas on the edge. I'm going to keep one centimeter all the way around. Um, and then I'm going to paint that edge. Now I thought about doing just some washi tape, but I don't trust washi tape because it's, it, you know, comes off pretty easily. So I didn't want to do that. Um, but acrylic paint, you know, it's going to stay on. So I'm going to paint it. And, uh, and then on the actual canvas that we're going to put it on, I'm going to paint that another color. And they should all match with this painting. So that's the goal here. So let me tell you the things that you're going to need. You are going to need a canvas. I got this canvas at Hobby Lobby. It's a 16 by 20, um, which is almost perfect for my painting well it is perfect but uh perfect for almost perfect for the the canvas itself but if if you're one that you're just going to cut it up all the way to the edge or do like i'm doing and you're going to just do leave a small section um then obviously it's not big enough but i think it's going to work for 
balance so everything is going to even out um, on each side so it's, it hopefully will look good um, so get yourself a canvas. These um, I have two of these 16 by 20s for this one, and you get two in a package. They're $5.99. So I tried to get the 40% off discount, of course, and they said no, that they could not do that. And I said that's fine. So I still think that's a good a good bargain. What you're need you're needing is canvas. You're gonna need paint. You're gonna need a paintbrush embellishments if you plan on embellishing it with anything you're going to need a ruler you're going to need scissors or you can use any type of cutting device um, you're going to need spray adhesive glue you are going to need protection or protection gear for when you are spraying the adhesive glue because it's very uh, very strong and you don't want that in your lungs so you want to put on probably a mask and do it outside where there's ventilation I'm also going to do something a little bit different I think I may change my mind but so I'll show you that in a little bit but you're going to need a needle and thread and you're going to need a pencil and you are going to need um, if you want you're going to need the uh, the hanging supply. If you don't want to use that, you could just hang it from there, but I don't know how. So that, those are the things that you're going to need. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure one centimeter on each side. Okay, I'm just going to use a pencil, and it's right there at that line. And we're going to need one centimeter on this side. And then just do that all the way around. So once you have that all measured out, I went ahead and drew a line all the way across so when I'm cutting it, it'll be easy. Um, you won't have to do any guessing, you won't make as many mistakes. Um, but one other thing before, before you start doing anything else, take either a roller or something hard, you could even use your glue, and just go over your diamonds. Make sure they're adhesive. The, uh, you know they're in there really good because you don't want them falling off so I am constantly I've been constantly rubbing this thing ever since well since I started it but also afterwards and I just I've been giving it a good rub putting a whole lot of weight on it to make sure that these diamonds are not going to pop off because that is like number one fear that this is just going to fall completely apart Okay, so now we're going to cut. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the paint on. Make sure you have some old newspaper or something so you don't get paint on the um, table. Um, I went ahead and bought some Master's Touch paints that will that should match this canvas. This one is, and this is all acrylic paint, this is light olive green and this one is just light green. These were $5.99 each and then I used a 40% off coupon for one of them so so I think what I'm gonna do is do the okay against my better judgment I'm gonna do the brighter green on this part and then I'll do the darker green on the other part okay so I'm gonna fast forward this so I don't have to bore you with my talking
Okay, change of plans. Um, I started using the green, light green, um, and I don't even think the darker green is going to do what I need it to do. So what, and, and that is covering up the numbers on the sides here. So I'm going to use the black, and then I may go back over it with the green. We'll see. I don't know yet. Um, but this is just a craft paint acrylic. Um, and hopefully, I, I used this on the other painting, so maybe this will be a better idea. I may keep it black and then just go with the green on the second secondary color, um, but we will see. Okay, as you can see, I got all the way around with the black paint. I'm going to let that dry, and right now I'm going to work on the canvas. Okay, so I went ahead, and you don't have to do this, probably shouldn't have done this, but I did. Uh, I painted over the whole entire surface of the canvas, so I'm going to let this dry now. Um, but really, uh, you don't have to do that. You just need to do, you know, um, just in the areas where are going to be exposed, where the diamond painting is not going to be. Um, so there's that. I also painted on the edges. So that you wouldn't have any white um, canvas showing so it's all going to be green on the edges all green on the top and so we're going to let this dry okay now I'm going to see if I can get the lighter green to show up um, since we've got all everything covered up now with the black I'm going to try to do the green we'll see if that works out uh, this is dried already I, there's the spot right here and the spot right here is still wet but we'll take care of that once we get to it So I went ahead and painted with painted the edges with the light green, being very careful not to hit these beads. Um, and if there's any paint on the beads, it's on the very edge, which to me is not a big concern. Um, I might even, after it's dried and I got everything done, I'll probably I could go back and probably rub that off the beads. Um, but I'm going to do another coat. I don't know if it'll be two coats. It could be three coats, but I need it to be a solid green color. And as you can see, the black is showing out, showing up. Um, that's okay. We'll just go ahead and keep trying to get it the right color, and we'll go from there. Worst comes to worse, I can go find some ribbon or washi tape, and I can just put it around here. But I'd rather use the paint. It's it's cheaper, um, and I, I just think it'll look better with what I'm getting ready to do after I do this with my embellishments and things like that. So we're going to let this dry, and then um, we will go. I'll go ahead and actually I'll do the other step, the other layers, and then I'll come back and show you uh, when that's done. Okay, everybody, I finally finished painting uh, the canvas and the... Uh, diamond painting canvas as well. Uh, there are three layers of paint on each one. Actually there might be four on the other one because I did black and then I did three layers of green. Um, there are three layers I think of this green and actually it is 
just the slightest bit tacky but I'm just going to go ahead and go with it. Uh, but the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glitter, um, glitter paint on here. It's by Folk Art. It's called Glitterific. We will see how this goes. I don't know if this will be any good. I may regret putting this on here. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start out just trying to make designs with it. Some like curlies on the edges because that's what we're going to be seeing is right through here. And then if that doesn't work out, we will do something else. And so I've got this size right here. Okay, and we are, this stuff is like, really, it's more like glue than it is anything else. It's just really, really thick. Okay everybody, I put the paint or the glitter paint on here in just swiggly lines um, to uh, make it look like, like pixie dust. So that's the, the uh, theme here. So what I'm going to do, I cannot do this on camera because I have to have a well ventilated area. But I'm going to be using this Elmer's Craft Bond Multi-Purpose Spray Adhesive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it on the diamond painting. Um, I probably will spray a little bit on here, a very light coat. Let it sit for three to five minutes. And then I'm going to stick it on here. So by the time I come back, you guys are going to see this already mounted on this. So let me go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I've got it adhered on there. Um, one thing I should have told you to do is make sure you measure and make sure everything is equal on all sides. Um, and that way it won't be misaligned. Now this, um, I mainly did it by eyesight, but then I also went back and I would use my ruler just to make sure it was, you know, as close to it as I possibly could. Um, and then I had to respray some more glue on there because I don't feel comfortable with it. I don't, I don't know if it's going to stay on there. But it does say that you need to let it sit for one hour. So we're going to try that. If that doesn't work, this is the reason I told you to have a needle and thread. Because I'm thinking about going ahead and tacking it with needle and thread in at least the corners and maybe one or two on each side and then that way if it starts to curl up we can always put glue back on it but it won't be falling off into the floor it'll still be on the canvas so that's my idea with that whether that works or not I don't know so the next thing I want to do is I want to add more embellishment um, I'm going to use, I got this at Tuesday mornings today for $2.19. It's by Maggie Holmes and it is decorative trim is what it says. Crepe paper. Um, and so this is just gold leaves and I thought that would go well with the leaves um, from the trees and all this on the picture. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to put it on the edges right here. Just go all the way around with this, um, with this vine of leaves. So let me go ahead and do that. 
Okay, everybody, I am all finished except I am going to do one last thing, and that is put a sealer on the painted area because that glitter glue or glitter paint it's kind of sticky so I'm going to seal it with a um, probably probably this diamond flecto I don't know if you can see that I'll probably just put that on the painted area and uh, it, it's for paint anyways so uh, so what I did is I just added the gold leafing um, I used a glue gun and for each little leaf I just put the smallest dab of glue on it and then pushed it down with my finger and then on the top here let me bring it close I added a little um, I don't know charm I don't know it's a little bottle uh, with a cork in it but I put glitter different types of glitter gold glitter to um, show pixie dust so I just have that hanging above their heads I thought that was kind of neat and it has like the leather the fake leather rope that's wrapped around it um, I just thought that gave it a really cute touch so um, I hope that gives you guys some ideas of things that you could do. I mean, you don't have to do any of the embellishment at all. Um, I just chose to do that because I'm in the creative mood and I like the idea of Tinkerbell and all the stuff that goes with her. So I wanted to just embellish it with that. Um, normally, like you saw in the other two pictures that I have, I don't usually do anything like that. So I guess it'll just depend on the picture that I'm doing. Um, but this one particularly definitely had to embellishment, embellish it just a little bit. Sorry guys, I made a boo-boo. There is, I mean, I can use that diamond fleck though. Um, but I may be using this, which is Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish, or the Polymer Varnish. I could use that as well. I mean, there's a, a lot of options you could do. There's also a spray, a spray sealer that you can use, but um, so there's lots of options to use. So, all right, you guys have a good day. Bye bye.